Hey, this good names, and welcome back to the Daily Advice. Today, the human machine gun. So, in two videos ago, yes, I showed you how you can use these small balls and throw them at big walls and knock them down. Sadly, you can't use big balls and knock down even small walls. Reasons. So, what I've done today is I've packed this crate full of these small projectiles, missiles, torpedoes, cannonballs, whatever you might choose. So, what I have here is my grabber tool, and as I go through, I'll hit T, grab one out, and then I'll launch it at the wall. And this would probably be the most efficient way, because loading this thing up took ages. That's why I have this little pool that I'd place the stuff in and then load it up. Took forever. So I don't know how many projectiles are in here, there's a number of them. Enough to fill this up twice, at least. So I'm gonna get going. This is a small wall, the normal sized wall. As you can see, you can break through it, but this is actually the semi-ideal way to attack, siege this castle, but this is actually going into the armory. So you're practically breaking yourself into the cage of a dragon. Yes, that is how fierce my army is in this game. Even though they're non-existent, they are fierce as a dragon. <coughs> yeah. So this works pretty well, not as machine gunny as the normal day machine guns, World War II age. Yeah, World War II, World War One, those things. But they still work. If they will. There's a certain range that you have to be at, a certain angle velocity. Ideally, you'd have this on top of a siege tower, probably. A siege tower, and then you'd be throwing them down onto a wall, probably back this far but at a height about this. That way you can shoot them perfectly horizontal and knock the most wall down. This is entirely not the most ideal way to do it, but on this very specific wall, there's some deviation in the train, so you wouldn't be able to get a siege tower up. So if you were to be able to move these boxes around, as I'll show later, you could just move one of these in wherever you would like to attack. Attack there, probably in the night, and then move out by daybreak. Because you'd probably run out of ammo. Or break through the wall, for that fact. I might actually get through this one. Oh, that's actually clear debris. <coughs> All of it. Yeah, a little bit. But then people would be pouring out. I could shoot them down. That'd be funny if I put barbarians in there. Put a little king statue behind me. They might find a path around it, but the pathfinding is something still to be desired. So what I've done here, I've practically broken, broken through that wall, even with just the contents of this one chest, not even going through the entirety of it. Strange. So yes, this would be a nice way to break down people's walls, even with so something so light as that, that you can actually move around by yourself. You could have an encampment, come up with one of these overnight, Take stuff out, launch it at the wall, break down the wall, go out, and in the morning, siege them. So, that's about it for this one. <coughs> wow, voice, stop leaving me so much. There will be more coming out about these crates and these launching projectiles. I found that torches actually work nicely to throw. Let's pull one of these out. J.U., thank you. Drop. But sometimes they can be detrimental. They can ping off in random spaces, but I'll be covering that one and one of the next ones. So once again, thanks for watching this daily advice. As usual, there'll be another one out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed like this advice. If you do have any suggestions on advice or something you would like me to look into, please do add that in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.